Hey guys. Okay, so I, when Subculture first came out, I did a lot of videos on the palette. Well, I did two, but that's a lot because usually I don't repeat palettes very often. So when I heard there was a dupe out, I figured what better video to do than this. Uh, the dupe is only $10. It comes off the Hush app or shop hush.com. You can get free shipping if you order with the app or you can use coupons if you order online. Um, the brand in particular is called Bad Habit. If you've watched my Aphrodite video or my ABH Nicole Guerrero dupe video, then you've already seen this brand. You've seen the quality they typically hold up to. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do right now in this intro is I'm not going to tell you which, <clears throat> but one I was done with Subculture and one was done with this dupe. This is called Retro Love. Um, and I also want to go ahead and show you some swatches while we're here and I'm going to pull a total Tati and you're getting some arm swatches today because y'all know how bad I suck at finger swatches or hand swatches. So what I'm going to do and while I do the look, I'm going to show y'all how the fallout compares, all that kind of stuff, how the colors look on the eyes. If you can tell, they are very similar. Um, you can pick which eye you like better. I'm not going to say right now. I'll tell y'all once we're done which one I prefer. But this was one eye is the dupe and one eye is the high end. And go ahead and decide in a minute. You'll see. So here's the two palettes. Outsides are both blue. Uh, this one's a little bit longer, but it is also thinner. I do believe you get about the same amount of product in both, and they're both cruelty free, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, both cruelty free. So that's always good. I know a lot of people are really strict on that. I prefer cruelty free as well. However, you know, I'm still going to use my MAC Paint Pot because that's the best product I can find out there. <clears throat> so let's look at the inside of these palettes. And basically what Bad Habit does from what I can tell so far is they just kind of rearrange the shades. So here is our subculture and you can see there's still fallout everywhere. It is beat up. Here is our retro love. It has a really nice mirror and it has basically all of the exact same shades. They're just rearranged with new names. <clears throat> So what I want to do now is I want to take a few of these shades that I know everybody's crazy about and just swatch them side by side. I've got my makeup wipe ready so that we can get a few of these done. So first off, of course, I'm going to do Adorn because that's one of the best colors in the palette. It is on my eyelid, but I want to get a swatch for y'all. So here is the Subculture. And then in this one, it is called Revolution. And here it is. If you can see, they're almost exactly the same. I think the dupe may be just a little bit lighter, but I mean, they're pretty much the same color. So then I wanna go in, I know a lot of people had an issue with Edge because it wasn't quite the yellow they wanted. So let's see how this compares. So we'll take some edge on my finger and we will swatch this across. And then in this other palette, it is called Rebel. And let's just swatch it right below. And they're similar, but you do get a more mustardy payout, which is what a lot of people were missing with the Subculture palette. And I heard so many people complain because they didn't like the yellow, which is fine. You know, you don't have to like every color in a palette, but they did not like it. <clears throat> um, while we're here, I would also like to swatch Electric. Because to me, I feel like if the metallics are kind of up to par then you know the palette kind of succeeded so here is electric it's very sheer 
I'm gonna put another layer on there just so y'all can see it better. Oh, where did it even go? Okay. Very sheer green. So then here is Icon. And it's actually got more pigment to it, I think. It's hard to tell because these are really sheer colors. So you can't really see necessarily that they're exactly the same, but they are definitely similar. I'm gonna go ahead and get those off my arm so we can swatch some more of these matte colors. <clears throat> now I wanna try, make sure my arm is dry, you guys. <laughs> now I wanna try mercury, that's our grayish color. We're just gonna swatch you right here. And that is out of the Subculture palette. And we are gonna swatch this versus pop out of retro love. Swatch you across right there. I mean, and those colors are so similar. It's like, there's not much of a difference in any of these. Um, I hope that's enough swatches for y'all to see, you know. This palette is so similar. The colors are almost exactly the same. Um, I'm not going to say anything about how they perform because you got to wait a minute to see that. But I definitely think that just looking at this and just looking at swatches, this is a grade A dupe. And I will tell you <laughs> that I have, and I'm not telling you which side, one side of my face even has uh, the Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit versus the Bad Habit Glow Kit. Um, so I have one side of my face is all high end and one side is all dupes. So now is when you get to guess. I don't have on lashes because I wanted y'all to be able to see the eyeshadow. But, and I wanted to be sure that I don't overshadow the products that this video is about. So go ahead and take your guess and time to find out who was right and who wasn't. Time to see if you guessed it right, which one is the dupe and which one is the high end actual subculture palette. <clears throat> so I'm gonna go through and I'm just gonna real quick do a look and time for the reveal. We're gonna have Retro Love on this eye. This is my right. We're gonna have subculture over here. <clears throat> this is my left. So let's just dig in. Um, and see which one is performing better. And while we're doing this look, I'm gonna go ahead and compare the fallout for y'all since that was a huge controversy with the subculture palette. And I'm also, to be fair, while I do this, I have two brushes for each palette. And this is just a regular fluffy brush, just a cheap off of Amazon. And this is an SL Glam shader. And then I have another fluffy off of Amazon. And this looks kind of dirty, but it's just stained. I actually washed it this morning before I filmed. And this is another SL Miss Glam brush shader for the Retro Love palette. <clears throat> so we're gonna go in and we're gonna see which one gives me a better look. Y'all already seen in the intro, but it is time for me to find out. Okay, so first things first, um, you always got to lay down a color on your lid. I already have my MAC Paint Pot on. So what I'm going to do is, let me take out this Anastasia brush because I'm not going to be needing it. I'm going to take Dawn, Dawn out of the Subculture palette. And I'm going to take Peace out of the Retro Love. And just like with my last one, you know, I'm gonna link in the description which colors match, which um, match up in the dupe versus the high end. So we're gonna take Dawn, and we're just gonna lay that down all over. This is just to calm down the primer, give me a base to work with, <clears throat> that's it. And then we're going to take piece, and y'all, I've got to show you this fallout. This is crazy. Okay, and this is not one of the colors 
that is the worst with fallout but it does have some and right off the bat I can tell you that subculture is going to be a little more pigmented like with that you literally dip into it and you're done but we will see how this blending goes because look at this here is dawn you can see all that fallout I only dipped into it one time okay now and I haven't I haven't blown on them you've seen me here's peace I dipped into it three times a lot harder than the other and there's almost virtually like there's a teeny bit like on this right here and you can see it but there's almost no fallout from this palette <clears throat> and considering you know with subculture a lot of people had the issue of like hitting pan the second time they used it which I've used it several times I haven't had that issue I'm very very easy on my palette but some people have okay so what I want to do here today is I want to go in and I want to kind of play with the the oh, I want to play with the shimmers but I also want to play with the colors that I know are horrible as far as the reviews go and the subculture which for me I think that means that we are gonna play <sighs> hmm I don't know I wonder what y'all would want to do I want to play in Roxy all-star mercury adorn and cube so that's gonna be this orange this red this gray and then we're gonna play in adorn right here and cube up here <clears throat> and I also think that to deepen up the look we're probably gonna need a little bit of rowdy so if you compare that over here <clears throat> That's going to be Flower Power, Rock and Roll, um, Pop right there. If we use a little Rowdy, we're going to need Nostalgia. We're going to need Revolution and Psychedelic. And we're going to see because I know Roxy is one of the main ones. I have never touched Roxy because I saw how bad the fallout was supposed to be and I didn't want to destroy my palette. So I've never actually used it. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and the first color we're going to take is Mercury. So that's the gray color. And I'm going to go in first with the subculture. And I'm just going to put that in my crease. And it is very true that the subculture palette takes a lot to work with to blend the colors together so here is to hope in that retro love does not because the only thing like I can deal with the fallout in subculture but it's just so hard to work with so we're switching brushes and we're gonna go into pop over here and like literally look at this that fallout is so minimum compared to the other palette and we're just gonna do the same thing over here okay these colors are slightly different not necessarily in a bad way but they are a little bit different and that could just be because these these are pressed tighter so <clears throat> the pigments gonna be a little harder to get but everyone was complaining about the fallout so I think that's a fair trade because you can't really just have it both ways with the palette okay so next I want to go into Roxy that's the orange color and this is the one that everybody just like went crazy because it's the one where you know I'm sure everybody saw the video where it hit pan on the very first try and like look I just dipped into it just tap 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 and I got so much like I'm still kind of tapping it off because I don't want it to go crazy on my eye I'm gonna bring this up a little bit higher
But I mean, here is the fallout from that. That's just barely tapping it. And I'm not going to take my camera off to show you, but I have like a whole little pile from where I tapped it off that's chilling on my table now. But we're just going to bring this up a little bit and kind of try to get it there. And I mean, you'll see like these aren't doing too terrible, but when you try to blend them, it just doesn't blend together the way it's supposed to. Okay, so now we're going to go into flower power and we're going to dip into it the same way. And there is fallout. But if you compare the two, this is definitely worse fallout. And I hit this one a lot harder because I do know that the pigment is harder to get on it. And I think this is, in my opinion so far, going to turn into a would you rather take the time to get the pigment you want and have an easier time blending everything together? Or would you rather have a ton of pigment and not be able to blend? Because see, like over here, you can see just a tiny bit of gray and you've got your orange over here. They just wouldn't blend. <clears throat> okay. So now we're going to go into All Star. It's another color I've actually never touched on this palette. Because, like I said, I heard it had some fallout, which this one actually doesn't appear to be nearly as bad. So we're going to take this a little lower down on the crease and just try to focus it right in here. So I don't want too much of this and I don't want it to overpower the look but I do want some in here and that's just kind of it's not giving me the blend I was hoping for and the fallout on that was not horrible so no complaints there okay so now I'm going to take rock and roll out of this other one and just kind of try to do the same thing and just leave it a little lower down in my crease and this is just to give me kind of a different dimension smoked out kind of reddish color and you can already see like this side is just straight lines of everything this side is blending together perfect Okay, so now I'm going to take a little bit of Rowdy. This is our dark purple. There isn't a black or like a dark brown in this palette. So this is what I'm going to use to get at my outer corner. And, you know, I'm just barely like tapping, right? Alrighty. I'm not going to tap off all this excess. So we're just going to stick this right here and bring it down a little and try to do my small circles to blend that out and see what we can get accomplished here and I'm going to try to blend it out a little bit more because it's just not quite cooperating with me and how I want it so that's going to be that outer corner <clears throat> and I lied like I can't go anywhere with my makeup like this today I'm going to have to take off one of these eyes and make it match I think we're going to go with nostalgia and that's the one that matches Rowdy over here and like here I can lie and I'm going to get kickback but like could you imagine if I hit that hard in that subculture palette filler would be gone Okay, so we're going to take this in here and we're going to pack it on and then try to blend it out a little better. And this is really giving me, in my opinion, more of the dimension I want. Now, if you don't mind, like having to work with a palette forever to 
get it blended out to get that kind of pigment payoff. That's okay, and I'm sure I'll still reach for my subculture pretty often. Because even after, you know, I tried it out, I have two videos on the subculture palette that I did. Because I ordered it, <clears throat> like, the day it released. <clears throat> and I do like the palette, so don't hear me say that I don't. Because it is a really good palette. It's just, you have to work with it. Okay, so now here comes the big question is to see if our metallics are going to pay off the way we need them to. So we're going to take a Dorn over here and we're going to take this all over the lid. And I will tell you that I already know that a Dorn is not going to um, blend out very well. So however it goes on right now is just kind of how it's going to have to stay. And it is really pretty. So let's take Revolution over here. Looks exactly the same. And just lay it down. So with Revolution right now, I'm feeling like it's a little more foiled. Got some slightly bigger chunks of glitter in it which for me that's absolutely all right i am a sparkly person the brighter you get me the better okay so that is what this looks like so we're gonna go back in with subculture and try to put a little more adorn because i'm not sure if i didn't get it all the way over or if it's just not showing up on top of this color very well Okay, <clears throat> so the last thing we need to do, oh, you guys, I'm making a mess down here, is we need to go in on our inner corner, and we are going to go in with Cube. Now, in my subculture palette, Cube does not give me enough pigment to use it as an all-over-the-lid color. It's okay for the inner corner, so I'm just going to take that on my pinky and we're just gonna stick him right here actually I'm gonna have to take it on my ring finger because my pinky's not quite cooperating with me and we're just gonna pop that it's got a very pink tint as you can see <coughs> so now we're just gonna hop over to retro love and get into psychedelic and we're going to pop that in our inner corner over here. And I think y'all can see the difference in those two colors. So the last thing we want to do is take our big brush, like what we used for our main color. And we're just going to take it and blend out whatever harsh edges are left. And this is the same one I used at the beginning. All it's got on it is Peace, and it's just got a teeny bit of product left over, and I'm just using that to blend out this eye. <clears throat> so we're going to go over here with our subculture, use the brush we used for it. It's still got a ton of product on it, and we are just going to do the same thing. I'm over here acting like I think I'm ambidextrous, knowing good and well. I am not. And I don't know that I could even tone this down very much. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go clean up right here, put on some mascara, lashes, and come back and film my intro and my outro. And I'll see y'all in just a second. All right, so um, as you know, because you obviously watched the middle of the video, over here we have our subculture and over here we have our retro love. Now for me, I'm going to go ahead and give you my final thoughts. I feel like this side definitely was easier to work with. Now with that being said, I'm not at all bashing subculture. I never had a huge issue with it in the first place. It is harder to work with. You do have to take your time. You do get more pigment from your subculture. So that's always a good thing. But if you don't want to take an hour to try to blend your eyes out perfect, or you know, if you want to save some money, this side is 
just as good. I've also got their highlighter on one side and Anastasia is on the other. Bad Habit is just a great brand. I mean, the similarities in these palettes are unreal. You know, you can't knock it and say that you're not getting basically the same thing out of this. So if you have been thinking about subculture, you're scared of the fallout, you're scared of the blending, take $10 out your wallet, <laughs> go on the app, order this, it will be at your house in two or three days. It's perfect. You know, it, it performs almost exactly the same. The colors are gorgeous. You still get a wonderful payout on this palette. So if you want my honest opinion, you know, if you're someone who likes to collect like I do, that's why I got this. I'm, I'm a collector. I love to have every high-end palette that comes out if I can afford it. So I got this one. <clears throat> and also, you know, I got it the day it released because I knew how much Modern Renaissance was hyped up. I knew how much I loved it. And I was like, another Modern Renaissance? Well, of course. So I got it. But looking back now, had I known that this company was going to be birthed and have all these amazing dupes, I probably would have waited. So this is, wrong side, this is an amazing alternative. It's very good. It's $10. I will put the website below and I will see if I can find a link to the app in the iTunes and the Android Play Store. No, I don't get any money for this. There are no affiliate codes. There's no referral, anything. I just want y'all to have access to these dupes. They also have uh, Not Bad Habit, but another brand on Hush also has a Sweet Peach dupe coming out like next week, I think. So, I mean, if you can't afford high end palettes, you feel like your makeup collection's lacking, you feel like you can't do what everybody else does, this is going to be great for you. This is going to be great for me because bless my wallet, I cannot afford <laughs> to keep getting all these high end palettes. You know, I waited on the desert dusk because they came out with a rose gold dupe and it was amazing. And I was like, well, desert dusk will be here soon. No worries. So hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope you like this palette. And uh, I think this is, yeah, I just can't say it too many times. This palette's amazing. So I hope you'll have a good day. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, hit that button down there. There's a button on the side somewhere. Tell you just subscribed to me. Uh, hit the notification bell so you can see when my videos post up. I should have that Sweet Peach Dupe video up very soon. And I also have a Jaclyn Hill palette tutorial that is one of my favorite looks I've created to date coming up probably on Tuesday. So I hope y'all enjoyed this. I hope you have a wonderful day. And I'll see y'all later. Bye guys.